Hello from the skies above Edmonton, and welcome to another flying video. Have you ever wondered how phenomenal air-to-ground shots like this are created? This video is a behind-the-scenes video on a flight with the talented Alex Paglowski as we fly over top of Edmonton International Airport to capture some of these incredible shots. Lately, Matara identified 3,300. Contact Terminal 127.4. We'll talk to you later. Over to Terminal now, Julia, Julia, Lima, thanks. Over to Terminal, good morning, Cessna 172, Golf Julia, Julia, Lima. Golf Julia, Julia, Lima, Mission Terminal, good morning. Are you identified? City Tour is approved and you're clear to Class E 4,500. Clear to Class E 4,500 for the City Tour, Julia, Julia, Lima. Alex was here in Edmonton working on his PPL this summer, and we took some time in the morning to head up for a sightseeing flight, and to have a little fun in the skies. We started over top of the city centre, enjoying some of the summer colours and the morning light. After flying a couple loops of the downtown core and allowing Alex to get some stunning photos, we let Terminal know of our request to see if they would be able to accommodate us in their airspace. Have a terminal, I'll go up to the Julia Lima. Julia, Julia Lima, yes sir, go ahead please. Uh, just wondering if you have time for a quick request. Absolutely, I have all the time in the world. <laughs> uh, just wondering if we can uh, maintain 4,500 and head over to the International Airport and do some high orbits for some photography. Julia, we'll proceed inbound to the uh, International there, just stay to the uh, west of uh, the 0220, got a couple of arrivals coming in here now. Roger, we'll stay to the west of 0220 for you. Okay, and you want to go into the tower zone? Uh, yeah, that, uh, that'd be good, and we'll just maintain 4,500 and do a couple orbits. Okay, I'll let them know your intentions, uh, and whereabouts did you want to do the orbits? Uh, we can do them to circle over uh, as the, the tower as our center, central point, if that works. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just give them the heads up there. Like I said, we've got uh, uh, five coming in here now, so... Okay, sounds good, and we'll work with whatever they need. And then person 9845, Curve Street and Runway 2 is approaching now, Gavit Transition. Julia Lima, contact Evan and Tower, 1183. 183, good day. Evan and Tower, Cessna 172, Golf Juliet, Juliet Lima with Lima. Golf Juliet Lima, Lima, Edmonton Tower, good day. The altimeter is 299er, niner, you are identified and maintain 4,500 feet. And where exactly do you need to go in the control zone? Uh, we'll maintain 4,500 feet, uh, and we can stay to the east of the tower if you'd like, and we just like to do some right-hand orbits. We can, uh, we'll, we'll keep it so we don't cross over top of any other runways. Juliet, Lima, Lima. Okay, I check and uh, plan to cross over the field then at the tower, and then once you're on the east side, I'll have you maintain uh, east of the 20 approach. I have numerous inbound arrivals for 20. Roger, we'll stay west of the 20 approach, cross over top, uh, direct over the tower, and I'll remain east of the 20 pro approach for Golf Julia, Julia Lima. Thank you. I decided to do the flight at 4,500 to help with the separation with landing and departing traffic, as well as to remain within Edmonton International's control zone for safety. As well, this altitude was not too high above the airport where photos were not possible. Alex had a massive 150 to 600 millimeter lens, which ended up working perfectly at this altitude. Juliet Lima, correction, Juliet, Juliet Lima. If you like, you can start the left turn now to cross over 20. Traffic at your 9 o'clock final for 20 is at 737, 4,000 feet descending. Alright, we'll make the left turn and bend now to cross, and we have the traffic in sight, Juliet, Juliet Lima.
Juliet, Juliet, Lima, Tower. I'll be departing a citation off runway 12, so remain north of the 12 departure path as well. All right, remain north of the uh, 12 departure path, Juliet, Juliet, Lima. Here's from 508 Tower. Contact departure 133 decimal 65 airborne, wind 1803, clear takeoff runway 12. 3365 in the air and uh, clear takeoff runway 12 or spin 508 kidding. At all times, just like in any other flight in a control zone, we followed ATC instructions and tried our best to stay out of their way, which is really the only way a flight like this is possible. It goes without saying, but the NAF Canada controllers are some of the best in the world, and a big shout out to them for helping making this flight happen. Juliet, Juliet, Lima, Tower, and nobody goes here off 12 for a while, so if you like, you can uh, cross over 1-2. For the most part, medium turns and a couple 40 degree turns were all that was required for the perfect timing for landing aircraft as well as to get the good angle outside the small crack in the 172's window. The angle for photos has to be one of the toughest aspects of completing a flight like this in a Cessna. Lima Tower, I'll be departing Q400 momentarily here off runway 12. Where did you say you're headed to next? Uh, we'll just uh, continue uh, over top of 30 and then uh, we'll make it back to Villeneuve here. Okay, I check you're going to cross over 30. I'll put the Q to position only. You'll see him there. And then uh, once you're on the south side, remain south of runway 12. Roger, once we're on the south side, we'll stay south of runway 12. Julia, Julia Lima. For the final parallel pass alongside runway 30 and with a departing dash 8 on runway 12, I utilize a side slip technique to keep our track straight alongside parallel the runway while also keeping the wing high on Alex's side to provide a better angle for photos. Juliet, Juliet Lima Tower, you're now unrestricted in the zone. Roger, unrestricted, and we'll be heading uh, northbound to Villeneuve now. Okay, Roger, I'll just keep you for a few more minutes, and then I'll hand you back off to terminal. Sounds great. Juliet, Juliet, Lehman Tower, you can contact VTA 127 decimal four now. Let them know your plan. Over to terminal now, and thanks very much for that. That was super awesome. Yeah, you bet. I'm going to terminal for 172, Golf Juliet, Juliet, Lima. Golf uh, Juliet, Juliet, Lima, Edmonton Terminal still identified, clear back in the class, Charlie. Now turn it again, 2 9 9 9 2 9 9 cleared in the class, Charlie, and we'll be 4,500 back to Villeneuve now. Roger. It really was such a stunning and technical flight that I enjoyed greatly. It was such an amazing experience to see these large birds from the sky from a much smaller aircraft. 
I am sure a helicopter is a much more suitable aircraft type for these aerial photography flights, but it's nice to see the Cessnas produce some quality photos as well. Definitely go check out Alex's Instagram if you're not already, it'll be linked in the description below. The results from this flight will all be posted on his Instagram, and will showcase some of the amazing photos he was able to get. Also, check out his YouTube which will also be linked below, including his first solo flight which he accomplished just a few days before our flight. For now, here's the rest of our return flight to Villeneuve, and as always, thanks for watching. To the, to the Lima traffic, 11 o'clock, and with 3 miles northeast bound, Cessna 172, 5,500 VFR. Like for traffic, Julia, Julia Lima. Julia, Julia Lima, Roger, you can contact Villeneuve Tower now, 118, decimal 8, good day. Villeneuve Tower now, 18, 8, good day. Villeneuve Tower, Cessna 172, Golf Julia, Julia Lima, with Bravo over Big Lake, 4,500. Cessna Golf Julia, Julia Lima, Villeneuve Tower, identified, third left base, runway 26. Clear left base 26, Julia, Julia Lima. Julia, Julia Lima, Tarek, clear to land runway 26. Clear land 26, Julia, Julia Lima. Julie, Julie, Lima Tower left at the end, contact ground 1208. Julie, Julie, Lima.